In this week's MX TV Bike Review, we take a look at the 2009 RM250 from Suzuki. Offering superior firepower, the RM250 is engineered for class leading balance with emphasis on both cornering and straight line performance. Suzuki's RM250 is powered by an impressive 249cc two stroke liquid cooled reed valve intake engine with a 38mm Cayenne carburetor to ensure precise fuel air mixing for smooth, strong throttle response, while the digital CDI matches ignition timing to throttle opening and enhances low end power output. The RM250 is powered by an aluminium cylinder core that features Suzuki composite electrochemical material for better heat dissipation, improved durability and slightly less weight. Electric CDI also increases power output at lower RPM ranges and the engine angle has been changed and is tipped forward slightly to help the machine get more traction through the bumps. The ports have been redesigned also for more output at low to mid-range power and offer increased torque at high RPM range. Each side of the seat has a textured surface for better knee gripping and the full floating front disc brake works with dual piston caliper and rear disc with a single piston caliper. And with the RM250's 5-speed transmission, heavy-duty multi-plate clutch, maximum strength, yet minimum weight chrome molly steel frame, you'll come out firing. Which is exactly what you'll be doing if you're on one in the 2009 Under-19's Australian Motocross Championship. As following a rule change from Motorcycling Australia, this fast, reliable 2-stroke 250cc machine can now take it up to its 4-stroke rivals in the Development Championship giving young riders more bang for their buck and RM250 owners more opportunities to race. The 2009 RM250 is available in Australia now and retails for around $8,990. For a competitive quote on your insurance, call QBE Insurance, the motorcycle insurance specialists. Now our test riders might be a bit old to tackle the under-19s next year, but let's hear what they had to say. When I first heard we were getting a uh, RM250 two-stroke, I was really excited. I haven't ridden a 250 two-stroke for oh, nearly 10 years, I'd say. I was very excited when Brendan rang me and said we've got a 250 two-stroke to test this week. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect. It's been such a long time since I've ridden one. A little bit more work on a 250 two-stroke. You certainly have to be a bit busier on the bike than you do with a four-stroke, that's for sure. And I did find that it took a little bit more out of me, so if you want to get fit, up on a two-stroke. You do tend to get lazy on the four-stroke. This is uh, a lot harder. You've got to be a lot more precise with your gear changes, keep the power in the meat, and it's a bit of work. But uh, once you're there and comfortable with it, it's good fun. Great amount of power, great braking. Suspension's a little stiff because it's, uh, it's still new, but uh, a really good fun bike to ride. The engine on the RM250 was great fun. I uh, took a little while to get used to it, but once I did get the knack of riding a two-stroke again, it was really good fun. The, the engine seems to be very tractable, if you want to put it that way. Nothing like a four-stroke, but certainly nothing like the old two-strokes of old. It doesn't snap and it doesn't uh, let loose too much. And today's a, a very windy and a very dry, hard-packed track, so uh, certainly tested it today. Yeah, look, I, I found the power to be really good on this RM250. Um, really good all the way through, from the bottom right through to the top end. No flat spots, no lagging, was just there all the time. It's certainly not like the old days where it's a light switch, so I think there's a little bit more traction there. It is a light bike and it has a very good suspension package. It's a lot different to ride than a, than a typical four-stroke but it is light, it's nimble, it's uh, very comfortable to ride, but you do tend to get a little bit busy in the gearbox department. The only thing that's changed on the 250 is the graphics and the seat. And the seat feels exactly like an RMZ seat. It feels good, it's got a little bit of grip on the side and uh, you can move freely around the top. It suits everybody from beginners right through to, to pro riders. I'd have no problems whatsoever hopping on this and being competitive. I think everything on it is fine. It's got more than enough power that I'm able to use and it's, uh, the power on it's quite usable. It's a very fun bike. I'd, I'd have no hesitation in recommending it, that's for sure. It's time to let the pro go!
Unbelievable, the RM250 takes our top spot with a 228. But I really think the tight supercross section might have helped the 250 there. I wonder what it can do on the Fro Quarter Mile. Well, an 8.48, probably not matching the success of the hot lap. But the quarter mile is all about power, and the 250 really struggled against a strong headwind. Great job, Pro, and see you next year.